just woke the fuck up so i already know i already look like i'm fucking beat up i already look like or sound like i'm all fucked up but i want to make this video because i've been monitoring online and what people have been saying about death loop now when they first announced death loop i wasn't interested anyway okay so i was like all right whatever whatever and then they start showing more and more of this game. And I'm like, uh, I'm still not interested. I'm still not interested. And then he had a state of play. And that just further solidified me just not even wanting to fuck with the game, period. And then at the PlayStation Showcase, they show three more minutes of this fucking game. And normally it is what it is. You either got it or you do not got it. It either is great or it's shitty. And in this particular case, I'm going to pre preface the conversation by saying I haven't played it. All right. I know that's a fallacy. I haven't played the game, but I wanted to pose a question to you guys. I know it was probably going to be in the comments. Well, you haven't played it. Why are you talk about games? You haven't played it. Well, I know. I know I didn't play it. But I do have people. I know people have purchased the, uh, the, the game. And um and I played it, and I wanted to just go over some of the things that they have said. Let's pull up my handy dandy phone. I actually started to look at this, and I'm like, hmm. And this is what you know. And and these people are pretty liberal with with the things that they like and stuff like that, you know. So on Twitter, I'm not going to mention the names or anything like that, but you know, if you don't know, Deathloop has been getting like perfect scores. Like literally perfect IGN, GameStop or GameSpot rather. It, I mean, really outrageous, outrageous scores. And I feel like something's amiss. You know, Sony is marketing the fuck out this game like they. And listen, just pay attention to how crazy the marketing is for this game. I mean, I don't even. I think the last time they marketed a game like this was The Last of Us. I don't. They didn't do it with 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 uh, Return or anything else. And before Microsoft actually acquired that whole suite of studios, I feel like something was going on. And I guess they paid money that they didn't want to lose. They wanted the, this game to make its money back, whatever it was. So it just looks like Sony may have paid them to give it a good score and people fell for it. I started seeing online. People were like, you know what? I'm, I'm caving. I'm caving. But fuck it. I'm just going to buy the game. And I'm like, you the bitch, the last week you just said that you didn't want to get the game. And all of a sudden, you're going to get this game. Either way, I let a couple of days go by, and I wanted to see the climate of this game. And somebody says, a 10 out of 10 seems a little crazy. Like, come on, fam. Let's be real here. Look at what's been, what we've been seeing versus the reviews. IGN would score it a 10 out of 10. It's sus as fuck, in my opinion. 10? Really? Another person says, so definitely, <laughs> LOL, I don't get it. The reviews were definitely agenda-based, in my opinion. That can be debated, but I don't see how the game is a 9+. plus. Gunplay isn't fluid. When you run, it feels heavy as fuck, etc. Right? Now, another person says, now I only play about two hours, so this opinion can be flawed, but it doesn't take me long to understand I don't like the game. The music makes me want to go to sleep also. <laughs> it's just boring to me. Another person says, I figured that I went with my first, I should have, I should have went with my first gut. Just not interested in it whatsoever. And when I saw, and when I saw it, I wasn't interested. But to each their own. Another person was saying, I think I was thinking the same thing. It feels loose and clunky. I don't get any powers yet. So hope hopefully those are cool. Characters and actors are top notch though. Yeah, it feels kind of clunky, man. I'm running on those heavy ass <laughs> armors. And I don't like it. Um good news is that's one thing I could say. Apparently the voice acting is pretty good. I did notice that in the trailers. It seems like it was pretty good. Um, one of my friends stated that the haptic feedback was top notch. So, you know, good on them. Yeah, good on them. But then you go and you look at the reviews, and sometimes I'm like, what the fuck? 
it's like I'm gonna pull up the reviews to kind of like bring it up here, right? These, these and I have to kind of just I have to kind of break it down like this because it's like some people don't know that this was rated a fucking ten. Telegraph says for all of its complexities under the hood, Deathloop is a um, Arcane's most accessible game yet, and it elicits constant satisfaction. The action is a pleasure, while its main drive has you constantly picking up the pieces of unknown puzzles that are placed together in separate chunks before the friction of excitement when you go full picture starts to form. Now, I did see some, some you can go on Twitter and look at this shit too. On Twitter, there were actual people that walked into a room of four people was able to headshot every single one of them and there was no AI to respond. Maybe it was some sort of stealth thing, but like, what the fuck? Um, another person. Um, actually, I might want to read them because I don't know what the fuck they are. But they gave it a hundred. Uh, EGM says Deathloop layers are the uh, refined take on arcing signature mix of ability-driven action stealth onto a time loop and premise, and the result is the most memorable games in recent years. I thought, to me personally, not even like no cap, um, Returnal was one of the top games out there. Um, BG24 has given it a hundred too. Taken as a single player experience, that flu feels complete and incredibly well rounded. The extra injection of optional multiplayer action is a fabulous cherry on top. Basically, Death Loop is everything I've, I've wanted it to be. Like, what? What is this verbiage? Is I mean, I can't really get mad at some of. It just to me seems like it's over glorification for a game like this. It really does. Um, confident both as a successor to many of the ideas of Dishonor while expressive or expressively its own thing the tone and the sense of style I absolutely like now here's IGN Death Loop encases fun investigation work and satisfying combat in a unique time loop mechanic that creates a truly tremendous uh, that, that to create a truly uh, tremendous satisfying adventure like it doesn't seem like when you look at these reviews that anything is fucking wrong with the game. And then I see what's going on. Bugs, AI not working. When you throw a grenade, the bodies fly away before the grenade explodes. Just typical bug fast dust shit. So I just wanted to pose that question to you guys and put this video out. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but shit. Shit went down. What the fuck? That's basically what I'm going to say. That's all I got for you. Just take time and look at how much Sony is marketing this game. As you probably clearly saw, everyone was pretty much tired of Death Loop, like sick of it. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? It starts getting crazy reviews. Nobody was talking about this prior to. And not, not no, it looks promising or anything. So people are like, well, okay, whatever. And I'm talking about previews. So anyway, if you like the video, definitely subscribe to the video. Share the video, please share the video. Like the video, please like the video. And let me know in the comments what I liked, what you liked or disliked about the video. And if you liked it, please sub. I'm outie.